We're going to uh, now get into these, you know, what we're doing instead of having this conversation as a, as a nation. We're all about who can prosecute her, who the fastest and the most. All right. The House Republicans held exactly what they were against. All right. One election a cycle before, which is an impeachment inquiry. Right. First hearing today into whether or not President Biden should be impeached. Republicans claim they're on the path to uncovering high crimes. Democrats say no evidence has been uncovered to prove any corruption. Here's a little listen. This is a tale as old as time. Politician takes action that makes money for his family, and then he tries to conceal it. The committee has received 12,000 pages of bank records. Here they are, right in front of us, printed double-sided. And not a single page shows a dime going to President Joe Biden. If the Republicans had a smoking gun or even a dripping water pistol, they would be presenting it today, but they've got nothing on Joe Biden. Um, I got to tell you, Jamie Raskin has been on the show. Hopefully he'll be on again. I think there are questions that uh, the president needs to answer. I see them largely as political questions at this point, absent proof that there is criminality. Um, what does Republican Congressman Tim Burchett on the Oversight Committee uh, at the hearing all day, Tennessee, I've uh, been a straight shooter with us. What does he think? Uh, thank you very much, Congressman. I know it's been a really long day. Uh, you got to be beat. Thank you for speaking to the audience. This matters. Well, thank you, brother. I, I'm really not that beat. I, people back in Tennessee, and I'm sure your hometown work all day, you know, in Congress here, we uh, we have us, uh, we, we start our meetings about 1030, maybe. We, we kick off a couple hours for lunch, probably have something brought in. And then we walk out of our office at 4.30 with our Brooks Brothers jacket over our, our, our shoulder and our sleeves rolled up and our shirt, you know, our shirt undone. We go, man, we really been hitting it, you know, and and, and the American public ain't buying it. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of over it, man. You know, my wife's up at six. We live on a little farm there. My wife's up at six o'clock in the morning. And I know Tennesseans and people all over this great country are working and Congress just doesn't work. I, it disgusts me. But anyway, you want to talk about the impeachment thing. I'm sorry, brother. Um, well, th hold on a second. I'll, I'll make you a deal. Give me a take on whether or not you think there's value in this. Uh, and I'm happy to talk to you about something that you think should matter more to the American people. Yeah, well, the inquiry, of course, it, I guess it matters. But here's the thing. It's my buddy, uh, Ken Buck conservative Republican. He sat beside me on January yeah. 6th. I always remember when the people were coming over the wall out there and I had it on my phone and somebody sent me a picture of it. And I said, well, that ain't good. And he said, what's that? And I showed him a picture of it. He said, where's that? And I said, right outside. And he goes, that ain't good. <laughs> but but he he's a, he's a former prosecutor. And he said, you know, he doesn't think there's any evidence because it doesn't tie in with why he was president. All this is why he was vice president. But, you know, you go back four or five years with all this stuff and all the money and the, the 20, 30, whatever million it is, the 21 um, LLCs and all that other stuff that's created to launder money. I, I'm not even going to argue about that stuff. But this current one, the $250,000 from the Chinese communist uh, individual, um, it, it was when he had announced that he was running for president. And it was sent to his home, and his name was on the list. Uh, I mean, the uh, Joe Biden, his home address was on it, and Hunter Biden actually didn't live there at the time. So there's some questions there. Um, you know, I don't know that we proved too much. I told a reporter today, I, you know, I, I'm kind of a straight shooter when it comes to this stuff. I said, ain't nobody changing their mind over this stuff, brother. I said, yeah. you know, people are already that are for impeachment. They're going to be wanting an impeachment. And and uh, Jamie Raskin and his folks, they're they're not going to be for it no matter what. So I, you know, right. let's just get on with it. I think we ought to make our case and get on with the vote. But I will tell you one thing interesting, and this is, um, it's not a, um, it's it's not a conspiracy or anything. But more Democrats, more of the seasoned Democrats that you see around, they're not always on the front end, and they're not they're not new, you know flash in the pan types, they're confiding in me that they need to make a change. And here's my theory. You will see more stuff come out on Joe Biden 
in the next few months because I feel like it'll be leaked. I feel like, you know, this is a, you know, this game better than anybody. Your family grew up in it. It is vicious. And if people see a little daylight or see weakness, they will, they will cut you and they will send you to the cleaners. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.